Dr. Haskin, what should you do if you notice a lump on your pet? Um, well, anytime you find something on your dog or your cat that just historically has not been there, it's important to have it looked at. Sometimes it's very simply explained. It could be a, an insect bite. Uh, sometimes they've recently had an injection or a vaccination at the office, that too. If it, so it depends on the time frame. Other things have grown very quickly. That's a concern. And they can range from simple things like the ones just mentioned to more serious things. Um, dogs and cats, just like people, do get skin cancer, do get lumps. Um, thankfully, most of them are benign, but some of them can be aggressive and serious. Usually you come in, we're going to assess it. Sometimes an easy, non-invasive test is we just put a little needle and we'll do a little cytology and get an impression of what it may be. It's not, it's not always 100%, but it's, it's non-invasive, it's not expensive, and it gives us a, a, you know, a general idea. And if it's more serious or we're more concerned, we can go forward with things like biopsy and so on. But nothing should stay there for long periods, and anything that's growing quickly or decides to become, you know, size, but is ulcerative or inflamed or red or ugly, um, should be looked at. And again, anything that's not normal for your dog or cat should be evaluated by the vet.